The Prize Center in San Marcos is hosting its annual women's art show featuring pieces created by local artists. Because it's an all women's art show, um, it is open to women or people who identify as women. They can be, you know, generally our outreach is regional, so they mostly come from this area. The pieces that are selected can be seen for the duration of the show, and patrons can buy them directly to support the artist and the center. If the artwork sells, there's a 20% arts commission that we charge, and that goes back to our efforts here at the Price Center to keep our, you know, keep our art programming, gallery efforts, things like that, going. De Stefano says the show helps build the art community in San Marcos. When we see this kind of community building where people come together, uh, meet one another, and stay together, that's really the ultimate outcome. Other organizations meet at the center as well. Group quilt making, porcelain painting classes, and Tai Chi classes are a few of the activities that take place. The groups also take part in Price Center events. They're incorporating into these other arts communities. And also, in some cases, they're entering their art or their work in some of our shows, too. The River Valley Porcelain Art Club meets monthly at the Price Center and occasionally travels to meet with other groups in the state. We have clubs all over the state of Texas. And in fact, in April, we go to a convention in the Dallas area. And we will meet with each other, and we go to new classes and learn new procedures. And it's very rewarding to us. The weekly events at the center are available for all ages. The art show is free to attend and will run until the last weekend of April. For Bobcat Update, I'm Trinity Nivens. The Korean Culture Club's dance team held the first of its biannual KCC showcase. We have showcases um, once every semester, so we have our fall showcase and our spring showcase. But um, besides that, we like to perform for other universities. Preparation for the showcase begins early in the semester. The team spends many hours learning and choreographing the performances. We started picking out the songs in January, and then we got registration in February, and practice started in February. Well, as a club, we get together uh, two times a month. But for practice, to uh, prepare ourselves for the showcase, we get together at least three times a week. I had practice at least uh, four times a week. So we have about 95 dancers. Tonight we'll have about 36 dancers. KCC Dance also works on other projects. Music videos are also produced by members of the dance team, along with photo shoots inspired by K-pop. The dance team helps build the K-pop community at Texas State. My favorite part of being in this group is just getting to meet new people and really exploring like the art of Korean music. The community here is like really like tight knit. I feel like no matter what dances you're in or who you're with, like you're gonna be friends with pretty much everyone and like know everyone. We do socials, uh, which are like we'll meet outside of school and we'll have like game nights, movie nights, karaoke. The event takes place in the LBJ Ballroom on campus. At intermission, the dancers take a break and food is provided for those in attendance. Anyone can join the Korean Culture Club, and new members are welcome to join the KCC dance team as well. Admission to the team's showcases is free to students and $5 for non-students. For Bobcat Update, I'm Lucas Jimenez. The San Marcos Regional Animal Shelter says it has too many dogs. The situation is critical. Some of the dogs have been at the shelter for more than 200 days. A lot of dogs are in pop-up crates in our lobby, in our offices, in our sally port. Um, and for those long-term dogs that have been here for uh, several uh, months and even years, uh, the risk is their mental health. Shelter officials say some animals may have to be euthanized if permanent homes cannot be found. If they do get to a point where it's not um, healthy for them to stay in the shelter and that their well-being is suffering, we do have to make those tough decisions. The shelter has a small staff and needs volunteers. You just would need to submit an application and do an orientation, but you can come and walk dogs, uh, play with cats, help clean kennels, create enrichment, which is really important for the shelter animals to keep their minds busy. People can also participate in Dogs Day Out. This is a program that allows dogs to get outdoor time and potential adopters can experience the dog's personality away from the stressful shelter environment. Bukalt says fostering is also encouraged when adoption isn't an option. Anyone can foster if you live in an apartment, a household, anything. Some people become guardian angels, which means they pay the adoption fee for others. The San Marcos Animal Shelter is open five days a week, closed on Sundays and Wednesdays. For Bobcat Update, I'm Trinity Nivens.